Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 sci-fi television series. Every time you find yourself here, it's because you chose to come back. For this list, we're looking at the most influential, beloved, and critically acclaimed science fiction shows to grace our screens. We won't be including superhero or animated shows, so unfortunately that leaves out series like The Boys and Rick and Morty. Which sci-fi series can you re-watch over and over? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Number 20. The Mandalorian I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. Star Wars has been in our lives since A New Hope hit the big screen in 1977, but the franchise has not always been consistently excellent, to say the least. When The Mandalorian came out in 2019, we weren't sure how things were going to go. It was the first live-action TV series in the franchise's history, so the stakes were pretty high. Lucky for us, it premiered to near-universal acclaim. I will help you. I have spoken. The story of Mando and the freakishly adorable Grogu captured our hearts right from the very beginning. We would watch their relationship continue to develop until the end of time. Sorry about that. He's young. <laughs> No, Grogu. Number 19. The Outer Limits There is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the outer limits. Right before The Twilight Zone ended in 1964, another show came along to try and take its place. But what makes you think that you can discover anything? Who are you? Nobody. Nobody at all. But the secrets of the universe don't mind. They reveal themselves to nobodies who care. The Outer Limits might not have been quite as popular or had the longevity that the former series had, but it's still a pretty fun watch. Much like The Twilight Zone, the show was an anthology series that delved into the darker ideas hiding behind science fiction. Peter the Watchman wasn't going to live forever, you know. So what difference does it make whether it's 20 minutes or 20 years? since neither amounts to the faintest echo of the tiniest whisper in the thunder of time." While the series only lasted a few seasons, it had a strong impact on the state of science fiction today. The show's first season quickly earned a devoted following, and luminaries like Stephen King have sung its praises in more recent years. Number 18. Orphan Black Sometimes all you need is an interesting premise and a stellar central performance. Orphan Black succeeds on both counts. I've never known a blood relation, but being your twin certainly sucks. You really have no idea, do you? Tatiana Maslany stars as Sarah, whom the audience quickly learns is only one of many identical clones. Maslany has the challenge of playing multiple characters, and she's more than up to the task. We do terrible things for the people we love. Stop asking why. Start asking who. The rest of the series dives into questions about humanity, morality, and other complex issues. Orphan Black walked a tight line between drama and humor, and offered thought-provoking meditations on scientific ethics. With the fantastic Maslani at the helm, it couldn't have gotten much better. Number 17. The Expanse would it happen if humans actually took over the solar system? We're willing to bet things wouldn't go that well. And if the expanse is anything to go by, we're definitely right. It's harmless. Maybe. The thing about civilization is it keeps you civil. You get rid of one, you can't count on the other. The sci-fi series was based on a group of novels and placed its central characters at the heart of political and social upheaval that eventually threatened the state of the entire galaxy. The plotting could be a little slow at times, but the commitment to promoting a noir-like sensibility was enough to keep audiences on the edge of their seats. Number 16. Red Dwarf Science fiction and comedy are difficult enough to do separately, and when you add them together, it can be near impossible to strike the right balance. But in the 1980s and then later in the 21st century, Red Dwarf was able to do just that. How dense do you think I am? You really want to know? Just divide your mass by your volume. The show follows Dave Lister, the last human alive, and his adventures alongside his holographic friend and a creature named Cat. Where is everybody home? They're dead, Dave. Who is? Everybody, Dave. What, Captain Hollister? Everybody's dead, Dave. 
This dysfunctional group of oddballs can barely do anything right, and their commitment to being absolutely useless makes them hilarious to watch. Imagine instead of watching Captain Kirk and Spock save the day, you're watching a much more incompetent crew muck things up even more. That is the essence of Red Dwarf. Thanks to Enlightenment, recon mission complete, transmit. With speed, Enlightenment quickly, please. Number 15, Westworld. By the end of its run in 2022, Westworld had somewhat fallen out of favor with the general populace. But it's hard to forget the success and thrill ride of those first couple of seasons. You stood in there, weren't you? Scared out of your wits. It's a difficult thing, realizing your entire life is some hideous fiction. Based on a 1970s film, the series was set in a theme park styled after the Wild West, populated by hyper-realistic robots created to serve the whims of the park goers. The series tackled issues of ethics and sentience with care, but never backed down from the cruelty inherent to the world. Wyatt, take me to him. Unlock the maze. The maze wasn't meant for you. Westworld was shocking and smart, and featured amazing performances from the likes of Ed Harris, Evan Rachel Wood, and Anthony Hopkins. You can't play God without being acquainted with a devil. Number 14, Babylon 5. The best science fiction series incorporate something more than just aliens and space into their storylines. Babylon 5 did just that. This is Ambassador Dylan of the Minbari. Babylon 5 is under our protection. Withdraw. Be destroyed. The 1990s series focused on the staff of a military space station and was as much about diplomacy as it was about space travel. The humans on the station were tasked with dealing with representatives from different alien races, the fallout of intergalactic war, and so much more. Typical human lifespan is almost 100 years, but it's barely a second compared to what's out there. It wouldn't be so bad if life didn't take so long to figure out. Seems you just start to get it right and then it's over. The series dealt with important questions and critiques of government authority and totalitarianism. This made the show both entertaining and thought-provoking. Number 13, Dark. It's hard to find a show with a more apt title. We kennen nicht einmal die Hälfte der Mysterien dieser Welt. Wir sind Wanderer in der Dunkelheit. Netflix's Dark is a German language program that offers one of the bleakest portraits of humanity ever seen in a sci-fi show. Initially, the series interrogates how one child's disappearance affects four families in a small town. As the audience learns more about the child, the show suddenly turns into a time travel saga spanning multiple decades. Nicht nur die Vergangenheit beeinflusst die Zukunft, auch die Zukunft beeinflusst die Vergangenheit. Equal parts Stranger Things and Twin Peaks, in 2017, Dark was one of the best shows on TV. It's also one that's so complex, we're sure we could re-watch it and be surprised all over again. Number 12, Lost. For some, Lost might not have stuck the science fiction landing, but there is no denying that for seven years, the series dominated the culture in a way that arguably hasn't quite been replicated since. Every man for himself is not gonna work. But if we can't live together, we're going to die alone. Lost follows the survivors of a plane crash as they navigate the strange island they've landed on. The first few seasons are characterized by terrifying smoke monsters, polar bears in tropical climates, and a strange man who lives in an underground hatch. These mysteries made Lost one of the most compelling series on television. And as the show went on, the puzzles kept on coming. I've done everything you wanted me to do, so why did you do this to me? It's up to you to decide how you feel about the ultimate conclusion, but we have to give credit where it's due. Number 11, Firefly. If there's one thing we can all agree on, it's that Firefly deserved more. I know something ain't right. Sweetie, we're crooks. If everything were right, we'd be in jail. After the success of Joss Whedon's earlier series Buffy the Vampire Slayer, it's pretty amazing that Firefly didn't get its flowers when it was on the air. In the maiden's home, I heard talk of men who weren't pleased with their bride. Well, I ain't them. And don't you ever stand for that sort of thing. Someone ever tries to kill you, you try to kill him right back. The show starred Nathan Fillion as Mal, the captain of a ship called Serenity. 
Mal heads a crew of rebels, and each episode follows their outlandish adventures. I had two scouts sniffing, but I took them down. Well, I didn't hear a single thing. First rule of battle, little one. Don't ever let them know where you are. What made Firefly so special was the chemistry between the characters, and by extension, the performances of the actors who played them. The series only lasted one season, unfortunately. But during its initial run and in the years since its release, it has earned an incredibly devoted fan base. Number 10. Stranger Things When Stranger Things premiered on Netflix in 2016, there was no way of knowing it would become one of the streaming service's most important original shows. But with a little bit of luck, good writing, and a stellar cast, it did just that. I'm sorry. Friends. Friends don't lie. Stranger Things takes place in the fictional town of Hawkins, Indiana. The story centers around a group of boys and the friendship they strike up with a strange new girl who mysteriously appears in town. Yeah, that's right! You better run! She's our friend and she's crazy! You come back here and she'll kill you! You hear me? As the series has gone on, the cult of love surrounding the cast and characters has continued to grow. The 1980s nostalgia only adds to the popularity, and it gives the show a chance to riff on classic sci-fi storytellers like Stephen King and Steven Spielberg. Number 9. Quantum Leap When it comes to science fiction, the creators we love can never get enough of all things quantum. But we still think the best use of quantum physics in a television show might have peaked back in 1989 when Quantum Leap began. Who created this Ziggy? You. Quantum Leap is your project, Sam. You're the genius behind it. The show stars Scott Bakula as a physicist who tests his project accelerator prematurely and finds himself leaping uncontrollably through time. But this isn't just your average, everyday time travel. When Bakula leaps, he takes the place of other people and must put right what once went wrong in order to leap again. Do you have to sneak up on me? Well, I'm so what do you expect a hologram to knock? Thanks to great writing and brilliant chemistry between Bakula and co-lead Dean Stockwell, the show was a perfect mix of sci-fi, comedy, and social commentary. Number 8. Fringe What do you get when you combine an FBI agent, a disgraced former scientist, and his renegade son? Why Fringe, of course. You floating another government conspiracy theory? <laughs> you know me, I never miss a chance for a good conspiracy theory. This Boston-based sci-fi series followed the ever-successful Mystery of the Week format, but had larger mysteries lurking under its surface. Every week, our favorite characters would team up and use what's called fringe science to uncover the truth about parallel universes and other unexplained occurrences. Can't you see that the brain is consciousness? The mind is God! We love the science fiction aspects of the show, but our favorite part is the complex romance between the characters played by Anna Torv and Joshua Jackson. You have to come back. Because you belong with me. Number 7. Stargate SG-1 Out of a movie that received mixed reviews came a beloved franchise. 1994 Stargate gave birth to multiple television shows, such as Stargate Atlantis in 2004. But the best thing the film helped create was Stargate SG-1. This is Teal'c. He can help us. You know what he is? Yes, sir, I do. He's the man who saved our lives. And if you accept my recommendation, sir, you'll join SG-1. This spin-off series starts roughly one year after the conclusion of the film and centers on a military unit sent to explore the galaxy. It takes on the typical storylines of a science fiction show set in space, with plenty of alien battles galore. But as much as Stargate SG-1 is about intergalactic war, it also incorporates plenty of humor and pop culture references, making it more lighthearted than other similar series. Number 6. Star Trek The Original Series These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Over the years, Star Trek has spawned numerous spin-offs and reboots, not to mention dozens of series and films that were clearly inspired by it. But those stories would be nothing without the OG. I prefer the concrete, the graspable, 
Approvable. You'd make a splendid computer, Mr. Spock. That is very kind of you, Captain. Star Trek The Original Series premiered in 1966, introducing the world to Kirk, Spock, Scotty, Bones, Uhura, and Sulu for the first time. While the original run of Star Trek is very much a product of its time, it often showed levels of creativity, imagination, and depth never before seen in sci-fi storytelling. For all its faults, it started a revolution. Its legacy in the realm of science fiction cannot be overstated. Number 5. Battlestar Galactica If at first you don't succeed, try try again. The original Battlestar Galactica first premiered in 1978. While that series has its fans, it wasn't universally beloved. But with the 2004 reboot, Battlestar Galactica finally got its laurels. Yes, we're tired. Yes, there's no relief. Yes, the Cylons keep coming after us time after time after time. And yes, we are still expected to do our jobs. The show follows the last of humanity as they traverse the galaxy after a decimating attack from a robot race called the Cylons. It's a political and mystery thriller wrapped up in a sci-fi show. Yet some of the series' best moments come from the complicated and sometimes toxic romance between the show's leads, Starbuck and Apollo. Good to see you too, Captain. Remind me to send you to the brig later. Number 4. The X-Files Talk about a will-they-won't-they. They. The X-Files may not have invented the concept, but it is one of the shows that did it the best. The world didn't end? No, it didn't. Happy New Year, Scott. Even though we were all tuning in to see if the two attractive leads would finally do the deed, we were also there for the mystery. The show brings together FBI agents Mulder, a supernaturalist, and Scully, a doctor, to investigate the paranormal together. What I find fantastic is any notion that there are answers beyond the realm of science. The answers are there. You just have to know where to look. That's why they put the eye in FBI. Their differing belief systems initially set them at odds, but their differences are ultimately what make them work so well together. That chemistry, along with clever writing and masterful storytelling, make the show a winner. Scully, you have to believe me. Nobody else on this whole damn planet does or ever will. You're my one in five billion. Number three, Doctor Who. When a show has this kind of staying power, you know it's a good one. Hello, I'm the Doctor. Basically, run. Doctor Who premiered on the BBC in 1963. After an incredible initial run of 26 seasons, it went off the air in 1989. However, to fans' delight, it was revived in 2005. Who are you? Told you, the Doctor. Yeah, but Doctor what? Just the Doctor. The Doctor. Hello. The Doctor is an alien who travels through time via a machine called a TARDIS disguised as a telephone box, helping those in need. Since its inception, the show has become an integral part of British culture. Because the Doctor's body sometimes has to regenerate, the producers must regularly change the actor who plays the character, which has helped to keep the show alive for decades. I have to live on. Alone. That's the curse of the Time Lords. Number 2. Star Trek The Next Generation For many Trekkies, The Next Generation represents the best of Star Trek. And considering how many films and series have come out of the franchise over the last six decades, that's saying something. Seize the time, Metapod. Live now. Make now always the most precious time. Now will never come again. The show builds off the success of the original, introducing new characters and making them indispensable. Most notably, the series gives us Jean-Luc Picard, the diplomatic captain of the Enterprise played by Patrick Stewart, who serves as a stark contrast to Kirk's brash nature. I have never subscribed to the theory that political power flows from the battle of a gun. The Next Generation became one of the most popular sci-fi shows of all time, and its status as a genre icon still remains strong. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. 
Number one, the Twilight Zone. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Though many shows have tried, including Netflix's Black Mirror, few anthologies have reached the critical heights of the Twilight Zone. Equal parts horror and science fiction, the show had its heyday in the 1960s, perfectly capturing paranoia and surrealism in television-sized bites. Decades after the show premiered, the images it created still stay with us. There's a man out there. What? Look, look, he's crawling on... Whether it's the creature on the airplane wing or the terrifying pig masks, everyone has an episode that scared the daylights out of them. Arguably the most influential series ever, The Twilight Zone's legacy lives on through the many artists and creators it's inspired over the last half century. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Lesson to be learned in The Twilight Zone. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.